Look how bundled up I am. Probably need to um, stop at our car though. We're about to go do some CE5 mm -hmm. up in Santa Barbara. Did Jinko tell you the actual name of the of the park? No. Jinko, what's the name of the actual park Lacumberry we're going to? Peak. What was it? Lacumbre Peak. Lacumberry Peak? Lacumbre. 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 That's where we're going. Do some CE5. We got Jinko. I'm just documenting these because I'm going to start putting together the contact tour videos. So. Do we have any water or anything? Uh, I have mine. Did, you, did we refill it? Yeah. The, the water? Is okay. An apple? Yeah, we'll take an apple. I'll take I was putting it. in my fanny pack. Got an apple. We actually just finished watching uh, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. Jinko saw it for the first time. What do you think, bro? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty next level. A lot of affirming stuff I already knew and mm -hmm. new stuff. That was pretty mind-boggling, but... You excited? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna make it happen. Hopefully we, like, see, hopefully we can make peaceful contact. You know? it's, all, it's all in the intention. Just to go through some of the supplies uh, for the actual signals on the CE5 app. We're bringing a little Bluetooth speaker with us to help broadcast that. Uh, clip bars, just for snacks, mobile phone charger. We have actually a portable charger that's this crazy, uh, Whoa. oh sorry dude, LED light. I brought that with us to Joshua Tree and then we black in the desert during some night watching. It was really helpful, so we're bringing that too. And we're bringing apples. Okay, we're on our way right now. Heading up to the site. Okay, here we are. I got your door ready. Okay. Oh my lord. Hey, this is my Gatorade, right? No, it's mine. Oh, I'm just saying this for the record. I want to introduce our cameraman as usual, Eddie. Hello, friends. Bro, how are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Can you just say for the record where we're at right now? Specifically. Whoa, music started. We're at <laughs> Lacumber Peak, top of Lacumber Peak, Santa Barbara, California. Mm -hmm. My home. Beautiful. Just absolute magic. Absolute magic is about to be seen. Fantastic, Eddie. We appreciate you coming out, man. You're a real one. Okay. We're all set. Let's grab this water. And then if you decide you want it, you can have it, okay? Cool. We got Sharon and Lane. We got Jinko. What's good? What's good? What's Sharon going on, Sharon and Lane. <laughs> Sharon like Lane. We got Nobody Share the Light. Share the Lane. <laughs> share the Lane. We got Jinko. <laughs> we got Eddie. You guys can't see the stars, but I'm just, I'm just, right I'm just gonna shut this off right now until we get out there. So I try to have the setup in the fanny pack pretty tactical with the LED on top, then the mobile charger right inside where I can just connect to. I'm trying to make this video really raw so everyone can just see the dead ass factor out here with really nothing too fancy. It's fucking beautiful though. Okay. You make a trip up here. All right, I think okay. I'm Yep, come on. Go, let's get it. I'll, I'll be in the back, so. Oh yeah, that's fun. We're kind of moving a convoy. Eddie in the front with his light, mine in the back with this light. Oh, you don't want to worry about this yet, huh? I guess this is a direct. I mean, yeah, we'll go first, huh? I've never got up. Right or left? Okay. Let's take a left. Just might as well. Not again. 
Let's go this way so that they can see. Yeah. Okay. Baby, when you're done with that wrapper, you can just give it to me. I'll put it in my pocket. Huh? When you're done with that, I'll just put it in my jacket pocket. So, we are just uh, making our way up to, I guess you can call the peak of this uh, Coomber Peak. And uh, we are going to establish some type of base camp, just circle up with one another. I put the light on your face. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that LED completely in my eyes. But uh, we're going to get the CE5 app out. I'm going to Bluetooth the speaker up. And then we're going to begin broadcasting the crop circle and uh, location signals. It's actually called in the app the crop circle signals. That's why oh. I call it that, which is interesting. And uh, Eddie has a very high powered laser, which we're going to use to, you know, have them... Uh, yeah, exactly. They can centralize on in, on in where exactly we are. Wait, we're gonna keep it moving. Get up there, but the barbed wired it off. Okay. But because this is one of the tallest, this is the tallest peak next to San Ynez Peak, and so you can just see the entire Los Padres. I wanted to uh, get this on camera. Thanks for explaining that, Eddie. So this is an old fire watch that's up here at the top of the peak here. Massive cell phone towers, so we're actually gonna have some pretty good signal, which is great. We can be walking around this. Okay. And the camera really does no justice, though. That is crazy, and that's the ocean right there. We got a uh, master photographer and outdoorsman, uh, Eddie, looking sharp. What's up? You got it? Huh? I'll take a bite. Those are the gloves that Jinko <laughs> was wearing last time up here where I had to give him my second pair. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a second pair of gloves this entire time? I'm gonna kill you. Look at these satellites, they're massive. Oh yeah, and radio tires. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is wow. Hey, are you good, bro? Yeah. Okay, hold on, I gotta put the light away. I'm camera down for a second so I can climb this. So I'm really trying to make a good point of this. We're posted up on a formation of rocks right in conjunction with these massive cellular towers. These things are huge, huge. So I'm hoping that any type of signals we may broadcast will really just bounce off these and ampli uh, amplify them and just shoot it across the cosmos as far as they'll let us go. <sighs> Thank you, Eddie. That's way better. Wow, that light is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Eddie, you're the fucking gadget man, for real. Bro, Eddie is the gadget man. So we're going to post up right here. I'm actually, we can just use this piece of uh, piping coming out and we'll make this like center base. Okay, let's get this set up. Okay, so we were on the other side of this uh, cellular uh, tower center at these on top of these boulders, and we noticed an object we thought was a satellite, but then as it moved vertically downwards, it kind of had... Hey, turn the light off. Uh, turn it off. Okay, hold on. Right there. You got it? Is that it? I can't or is tell. that it? I can't tell. I think it would be the one that you... That's it right there. Is that it? Oh man, this camera's pitch black, dude. I wish you could. Yeah, there it is right there. Look at it. It's moving. Holy shit. There it is, bro. I'll try to laser. Just so we can kind of. There it is right there, that thing. 
Okay, so is it okay? So it's it has. Moving. Oh my god, dude! There's green on it. Damn! Is I wish the. the I wish the. No, 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 no! Not from the laser. Oh, fuck. There's definitely green and red, type of. Im illuminating light on it. Hmm. It's blinking hardcore. Significantly, significantly harder than any star we're looking at. Telling it was moving, but well, it's not moving now. It's green. Look at it. This? No, look at it. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's moving. Oh there. Dude. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. oh where's the fucking camera? Yeah. Get this. I just can't really get this, dude. I'm gonna go back in on the Mac later and see if I can totally enhance the brightness and contrast and maybe see at least the laser. Things like dropping down. Dude, it's still there and it's blinking different colors, bro. That's not a star, it's not a plane. And it's moving unilaterally. <sighs> like left or right, up and down. Eddie, can you check the FAA app? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, dude, that. Oh, look at it, it's moving up. Alright, so we have. Dude, just, look at this fucking thing. We have thing. just confirmed that there is a unidentified. Dude, light it's, it's following the moving laser. up and down left and right it's following the laser Holy we shit. saw it jump oh look it's moving right now <laughs> dude, we're Holy shit. make sure there's no i'm what? gonna go in the opposite direction see if Yo, i can get there's to go literally up. no airplanes in the sky yeah. no airplanes dude, it's wow. following it dude it's That's following so cool. it completely there's no airplanes in the sky <laughs> there's no airplanes in the fucking sky <laughs> This is insane. Dude, we have confirmed. Confirmed. 100% oh. confirmed it's that there is. It's following the laser. It's following the laser. We spotted it from the rock and then we moved around the light tower. Wow, and wow, wow. It's mo Oh, oh, look yeah. at it. Holy oh. shit. It's moving up and down at speeds that are <laughs> un so cool. unfathomable. We're now trying to get it to move closer to, closer to where we are so that we can get a better view. Come closer to us. Come I wonder if it's going to come closer. We're, we invite you. We invite, we invite you to come, come close and hang with your boys, dude. We're the homies. Don't be a Thank bitch. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's blinking. Look, it's blinking back at the lights. What do you mean? Look at, watch it blink. You see it blinking? Wait, where you're pointing it? No, dude, look it. Watch the object. Whoa, I actually see a blinking light right above. Holy shit, let me see. Wait, you want the laser? Yeah, let me see laser. Oh, are you still recording this? Yeah, yeah, look at this. Where, where do you see a blinking right light? I have to change out the batteries in the, in the laser, but we definitely have a confirmed CE5. We've been observing this illuminating object that's south by southwest of our position for and i definitely put the battery in backwards <laughs> it's all good that's northeast down there uh -huh. are you sure is it because that's south that oh, way your compass is wrong oh okay or maybe i was like pointing it the wrong direction no because you gotta think that's the that's west to us so, right now so is south 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 south, south is east. that way this is east so this is no, south south is this way a little, little more to the right Okay, yeah, so... A little more to the right. So that's northeast. No. No, this is south, no. north, north, west, north. east. Oh, wait, wait, who's keeping an eye on this thing? I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Boom. That thing's a sniper now. Okay, beautiful. Right. Thank you, Ed. Yeah. Let me turn this off. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no, because we got, uh, we got Eddie capturing... Capturing uh, a potential for potential photograph of the object that we've been watching for about 45 minutes now. It's uh, about 4.30 a.m. We've been out here for like oh, well over a couple hours now. This object is, uh, it's confined to very small movements, but movements nonetheless, performing very unusual flight characteristics. It just starts to like the right or left or up and down. Yeah, it'll go from being completely stationary to a quick little uh, zigzag. Well, not uh, a, a rigid zigzag, but more of a smooth 
curvature of a movement. That's the object on Eddie's camera. My cell phone will not pick up any stars or anything, but Eddie is uh, using the laser to uh, get a good angle on the object. I see very faintly. Okay, just so can, everyone can see who we're out here with right now, we have Jinko, <laughs> Share the Light, and we have our amazing photographer, Eddie. I'm gonna do another video real quick. Eddie actually captured the object on his camera, so I'm gonna turn the light off and do another video. <laughs> so if you, guys, if you guys actually look at the camera right now, you can clearly tell which object, that one right in the center with the green illumination on it. It's more of a blue, it Or a, a blue, blue green. green. yeah. That one right, that That's one right beautiful. there in the center that has the, the streaks on it. Okay, that's the one that was moving. There's two objects objects exactly mm, like that. This will help. Okay. <sighs> Sorry if my speech is a bit scattered and I'm kind of what, slow on my words because I'm freezing fucking cold out here. It's hard to articulate. <laughs> that's incredible. Yo, hold up, I can zoom in. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> dude, it's a fucking, dude. It's oh, a, it looks like oh, a heart. Dude, it looks like a disc. <laughs> Hey, Whoa. What Whoa. the? Oh my, yeah, go back to that. Can we go back to that one? Jenko, are you still engaging with it? Yeah. Can you that, turn yeah, the screen brightness down on that? How do I do that? You want it? So you tap and then drag I'll your finger down. No, it's, 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 uh, I'll do it. Got you, got you. Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> so that's the object. That's awesome. That's wow. the object. But those, the, the four, like, the four, the cross that's coming off of it, yeah. if that was anything other, like, those, those stars would also have the same, because that is the same focus link, the same mm -hmm. focal length I have on that would be true for the rest of these objects. Wow. And they're not emitting any. So it's really dude, a light, there's two a of them, shit. dude. Here, Eddie, can you scroll through now? I have a really good, uh. Really good focus on your camera screen. Yeah, you can clearly tell the illumination from that one object that's been moving yeah. that we've been observing it has, it doesn't represent any illumination from the stars. It, it, it does not look like them. It's look at wow. that, look at the shape. It looks like a heart. Almost. Look at the shape of it. Okay. In the it movie. does, yeah. what the fuck? Wow, can you zoom in on that one specifically? Okay, can we? Look at that! Wait, wait. It's a heart. Oh my god! Look at that. I love you too. <laughs> Look oh, at that that's object. Amazing. Look at that object that we're wow. seeing in the sky move. CE5 confirmed. Oh. CE5 <laughs> confirmed. Let's go, baby. Okay, so it's just after five. It's almost five thirty in the morning. We had a, a very successful night of CE5 protocol. Um, it started out a bit slow. We ended up uh, meditating and uh, uh, vectoring in any potential interplanetary craft, interdimensional craft coming by with uh, Eddie's uh, high-powered laser. And we were kind of just uh, following certain star formations that uh, called out to us. Uh, we ended up seeing, I'd say in the total, of uh, probably, I think, five or six different craft. There's actually an abundance of them out here, but the camera doesn't do it any justice, but we are well above the, clou uh, the clouds. I'll turn the light off real quick, but we are at the top near this uh, giant cell cell uh, God. Cell cellular, <laughs> I can't talk, I'm, my lips are so cold. My whole body's freezing, it's hard for me to even like put words together. But you guys can't see that, but all down there is just all clouds with just mountain ridges and peaks, but there's all these objects up here 
that they appear to be stationary at a first glance, but if you actually really just pay attention and in, uh, vector them and engage with them with the laser, they, they perform uh, movements, which is, which is incredible. Uh, obviously our cell phones aren't capable of capturing uh, the objects, but luckily we have Eddie with us, who's a very experienced, uh, highly skilled uh, uh, astrology photographer. And he gets very impressive pictures of the Milky Way and things that are in ultraviolet light. And he got pictures of the craft. We used the laser to, uh, you know, kind of aim at them as he uh, captured the pictures. And, and it's, it's obvious they are not stars. They're not satellites. They're not drones. We're, too, we're at too high of an altitude for these things to be drones. We're well above the clouds right now. And uh, it's not, there's definitely not planes. So uh, yeah, successful CE5 event. This is the second one we did, we're just gonna keep going. And I just wanna keep these videos as raw as possible. I'm not gonna do any special editing, no bullshit. Just, just us out here really trying to make it happen. It's 5.29 a.m. Uh, Eddie, great work tonight, man. You. You're a fucking legend Thank and uh, I appreciate you. Eddie Eddie got some amazing, amazing photographs. Some absolutely amazing I photographs. I can't believe it. Dude, they're crazy. Like, they're crazy. We're, we're, we're going to burn one down and look at these as soon as we get back. Yeah, wait till you see it on actual screen. I know, it's crazy. Uh, I wanted to just capture this on video really quick. So, like I said, we've been next to this uh, cellular uh, tower facility all night. Um, but there is a U.S. Geological Survey marking that says elevation above sea level uh, 3,985 feet. That's how high we are. We are at 3,985 3, feet. That is our elevation. That is the moon coming up, which is absolutely spectacular from up here. Okay, so we're heading back right now. It's almost six o'clock in the morning. The sun is rising. So if you can see that. Oh my God. It's absolutely, absolutely unreal. I know. We need to prove. That was a very eventful night, very cold night, but we all made it through. Everyone stuck it out. <laughs> I'm really proud of everybody. We all did a great job. You know, Jinko was meditating, Cher was meditating. I was kind of in and out of meditation and then uh, vectoring with the laser pointer. Uh, Freddie was just on top of the camera the whole time, taking time-lapse photography and focusing in and uh, pinpointing all the craft that we were observing. And yeah, we really made the most of it. We have a really solid four-person four, uh, team. And uh, we're just gonna keep going and see uh, what happens. Walking back. How you doing, brother? Chilling. Chilling. Hey, what the hell just happened? Dude, isn't that incredible? Eddie, I wanted to ask you too because you are a very experienced uh, astrological photographer. You know, you take a lot of pictures of the astronomy. Have you ever seen anything like that? Whoa. Um. No, I, uh, quite <laughs> frankly, I haven't because the shit that, despite like the white balance, the yeah. it would have affected every image within the frame. Every star would have been emitting some different. So it's not like it was a white balance thing. I yeah. I put the white balance to a specific, like for astro 
uh, to capture like the actual natural tones and yeah. to see something like that. Dude, one of them was shaped like an actual disc. No shit. Oh, it was a heart! Well, the first one was. The first one was shaped like a heart. The second one we saw was shaped like a disc. Yeah. I'd say in total we saw at least five or six. Like, ones that were Dude, I without was a shooting, doubt. I was lasering, like, uh, uh, there were four of them that I was lasering and they were all moving. Yeah. That's absolutely so. unreal. And then unreal. the other ones I can't confirm what was happening. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we also have to be mindful that we had a very long day and we probably are fatigued, even if we don't really feel like it too much. Yeah, but uh, undoubtedly, on, on a... Uh, Inconclu- I mean, conclusively, excuse me, I'm just- I'm fr Okay, let's get it. That's how high up we are. 3,983 feet. Right above the clouds. Very, very successful. thoughts about first seat you felt like actual first seat we saw event. four spacecrafts unidentified spacecrafts yeah and eddie got a picture mm -hmm. and that shit was insane really profound how about, yeah. how, how about you share bro that was amazing i'm extremely I'm tired, tired mm -hmm. but that was amazing how long were we out there for um from 1 to 6 a.m yeah that was a long night. Yeah. You're a trooper though, baby, yeah. holding your two empty coffees. Eddie, you, uh, I got your book bag, bro. Oh, man. I was having some flashbacks to my old uh, military days, being an FO out in the mountains for several days at a time, carrying a lot of heavy shit. <laughs> and this, yeah, I think we should chill for a little bit. This is the man, the myth, the legend, the tactical fucking Hello there. dude, the sniper that caught UFOs on camera from dude, how many miles away? <sighs> Couldn't even tell you. I mean hang on. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're a beast, bro. <laughs> I'm very man. Pr I'm even impressed with myself. Sometimes dude. you have those moments where you impress yourself. That just happens. Dude, it's a privilege and an honor to have you a part of uh, the CE5 team, bro. You're you're a special forces photo photographer. Oh, excuse me. But uh, I'm just gonna turn this. But yeah, that's it. So that that's the end of our. Uh, Oh, dude, sorry, I closed it. It's all good. I'll, I'll, let's go get the keys and we'll open it. But that's the end of our first CE5 event. It was very successful. Uh, we're going to be doing more and more of these and hopefully just bringing awareness to this and having more people and the general public do this. And we're going to surpass the, the military state that's suppressing all this. And that's it. <laughs>